My name is Richard Uslin. For over 30 years, I've been an experienced criminal and municipal court defense attorney. You're watching this video because you were arrested for a drug-related matter in the next town over in Bridgewater, New Jersey. An experienced defense attorney is going to approach your defense using two major categories. Let me discuss the first one in this video. It has to do with whether the police conducted a reasonable search and seizure that led to the recovery of the drugs that you're charged with possessing. What I mean by that is this. Whether you were walking in Bridgewater or driving through Bridgewater, there has to be a constitutional reason to seize you or your vehicle. Secondly, uh, assuming that there was that proper seizure, there still has to be a proper search that led to the recovery of drugs, either from you or from your vehicle. I've been combing police reports in the thousands for over 30 years, keeping abreast of search and seizure law, conducting cross-examinations in pretrial hearings on motions to suppress evidence, all designed to try to exclude as evidence the drugs that you're charged with. And obviously, if we're successful, you're going to be found not guilty. One of the ways the police try to circumvent the warrantless search and seizure is uh, to claim that you gave them consent to search your vehicle or your person. They do this because they ordinarily wouldn't necessarily have exigent circumstances to conduct a warrantless search of you. The preferable method is for them to have a warrant, uh, at least as far as the state is concerned. Uh, so that a neutral and dis detached magistrate independently makes a judgment as to whether there was probable cause to conduct the search. But getting back to the consent, you may have already realized that the police have claimed that they're going to send the dogs out to sniff your car, or that you're going to have to stay uh, by your car for hours while they get a telephonic warrant. Is that consent? I think not. Uh, we can challenge that consent because, in essence, this was made under duress. Your consent was under duress. Another way to challenge uh, the legality of the admissibility of drugs in your case is to claim that there was not a proper chain of custody of that evidence. When those drugs are recovered, they're brought to a police evidence locker. And from there, they're removed, presumably, and brought down to the state police laboratory for chemical analysis. Then they're returned back to the local department. Those have to be the same drugs, or those that were originally recovered from you, that are going to be brought to trial in your prosecution. And if we're able to establish a break in the link of that chain of custody, those drugs are inadmissible, and you're going to be found not guilty of possessing them. That takes some expertise to be able to look in detail at the police reports. I've looked over thousands of them. That's what an experienced criminal defense attorney is going to do to help you. I know how to defend these cases. I've prosecuted them at both the county and the municipal court level. I know what to look for. I look forward to hearing from you.